Good afternoon. It's me, Ashti Elisa Noreen Olager. And it's me, Azi Plus Pinas. And it's me, Lea Milimba. And lastly, me, Ivy Orbilia. And come join us as we explore and discover what is an earthquake, the plate boundaries, and the causes on how it happens. Firstly, let's discuss what really is an earthquake. An earthquake, also called quake in short, tremor or trembler is the shaking of the Earth's surface resulting from sudden release strain energy in the Earth's crust, resulting in waves of shaking that radiates outwards from the earthquake source. It is what happens when two blocks of the Earth suddenly slip past one another. Earthquakes can cause any kinds of disasters to mankind. It can be very dangerous and sometimes it can be unnoticeable, depending on its intensity. Even though earthquakes rarely happen, it shouldn't be underestimated. As soon as an earthquake happens, everybody should be prepared whatever the level of the earthquake is. As anything can happen anytime. Just like the earthquake that happened in the past, the 1960 Valdivia earthquake, or also called the Great Chilean earthquake that happened in 1960. According to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, the 1960 Valdivia earthquake, also known as the Great Chilean earthquake, is the strongest earthquake ever recorded. It hit the Valdivia town in southern Chile on May 22, 1960, and its magnitude was measured at 9.5. Simply speaking, earthquake means the shaking of the earth's surface. It is a sudden trembling of the surface of the earth. Earthquakes are certainly a terrible natural disaster in all kinds. Furthermore, earthquakes can cause huge damage to life and property. And there are some earthquakes weak in nature and probably go unnoticed by some. Now that we've known what's an earthquake and what earthquakes can do to us, let's proceed on discovering its causes. Earthquakes are the result of sudden movement along faults within the earth. The movement releases its stored up elastic strain energy in the form of seismic waves, which pro propagate through the earth and causes the ground to shake. Thank you for that explanation, Isaac. But how does an earthquake happen? Thank you for such a wonderful question, Leia. Well, earthquakes occur along fault lines, cracks in earth's crust, where tectonic plates meet. They occur where plates are subducting, spreading, slipping, or colliding. As the plates grind together, they get stuck and pressure builds up. Finally, the pressure between the plates is so great that they break loose. Speaking of faults and the meeting of tectonic plates, that leads us to the three types of plate boundaries. There are three kinds of plate tectonic boundaries. The divergent, convergent, and the transformed plate boundaries. A divergent boundary occurs when two tectonic plates move away from each other, while a convergent boundary is an area on Earth where two or more lithospheric plates collide. And lastly, the transform boundary. A transform boundary occurs when two tectonic plates move past one another. Shear stress operates a transform boundaries, which involves sliding motion. Now let us discover the major records and types of an earthquake. These are the last major earthquake in the Philippines in 21st century. December 15, 2019 in Davao Sur. August 18, 2020 in Masbate, August 12, 2021 in Davao Oriental, July 27, 2022 in Luzon. We also have different types of earthquakes, tectonic earthquake, volcanic earthquake, collapse earthquake, explosion earthquake. Let's talk about these different types of earthquakes. First, tectonic earthquake. These tectonic are produced by sudden movement along faults and plates boundaries. 
Second, the volcanic or volcano earthquake is caused by the movement of magma beneath the surface of the earth. We have the collapse. This is the small earthquake in underground caverns and mines that are caused by seismic wave produced from the explosion of rock on the surface. Last but not the least, we also have exposition and the earthquake are directly related to volcanic events and the occur with volcanic exposition. Thank you for joining us exploring and discovering what is earthquake, plate boundaries and causes on how it happens in earthquake. We hope that you have learned a lot about earthquakes. An earthquake, what causes earthquake and the three types of plate boundaries. So, let me introduce some precautionary measures just in case there is an earthquake. Now, the first thing you should do is pretty please don't freak out. If you sense something like erosion or tectonic movement, just remember drop, cover, and hold. If you're near in the table, lay low. If you are in indoors, probably it's better not to be by the windows or glass. That is or could be shattered. Shattering glass is the main issue during an earthquake. For your safety, always stay away from the glassware or materials including windows, mirrors, and others if you are near them. Subsequently, if you are in the open state, move to an area with limited objects or to a location where there are fewer barriers. But, stay away from buildings stuck, lights, and electric corridor lines. Moreover, don't stand in places where there could be falling debris that could include tunnels and overpasses. If you are driving, pull over to a safe spot and stay inside the vehicle until the shaking stops. If you have experienced the earthquake, walk by cautiously and be ready for aftershocks. Look for injuries first when it's safe to move around and check off damages on the things beside you. It may help be to it may be help to listen to the authorities instructions or updates through radio regularly. A little reminder it is better that we have knowledge here because there might be an earthquake to happen. Information is really vital when one thinks about settling the questions on how to properly prevent and respond to earthquakes. In this way, it provides us with main approaches which are accurate and reliable in order to protect the people. However, as a result of this, we emerge with large volumes of data that not only helps us predict that earthquakes with high accuracy but also gives us more details about the event as well. Goodbye, Goodbye for now. now. Thank you for, Thank listening. You for listening.